Understanding your learning style, using your strengths to your advantage. Welcome to our Graduate Student Success Workshop Series. Today, we will discuss understanding your learning style, using your strengths to your advantage. My name is Julie Vinci, and I'm a Graduate Academic Advisor at NSU. Here at NSU, we constantly strive towards academic excellence. It is one of our core values. Increasing your understanding of your own learning styles when in the classroom and while studying can help you to reach your academic goals. We will review two main topics today, learning styles and the study strategies that work with them. Learning styles, what type of learner are you? The different learning styles include visual, oral, reading, writing, kinesthetic, and multimodal. After reviewing the different types of learning styles, you can start to analyze the way you learn. You might start to see how the styles can be combined, which is what they refer to as multimodal. Before we begin, jot down what learning style or styles you think you might use the most. What are learning styles? There are methods of gathering, organizing, processing, interpreting, and thinking about information. According to the VARC, Visual Oral Reading Writing Kinesthetic Model, developed by Neil Fleming in 1987, the four styles of learning reflect the experiences of the students and the teachers. All of the styles can overlap, and the question mark in the middle of the diagram here represents your personal style. Remember, in life and work, these styles can overlap so there are no hard and fast boundaries. If you think you might be a visual learner, answer the following questions. Do you have to see information in order to remember it? Do you pay close attention to body language? Do art, beauty, and aesthetics inspire you? Does visualizing information in your mind help you to remember it better? If you can answer yes to most of these questions, chances are that you have a good visual learning style. Often visual learners prefer to see the big picture. They're stimulated by color and drawn to pictures and diagrams. They also remember people best by faces and not names. Do some of these aspects sound like they apply to the way you learn? Oral. Are you an oral or auditory learner? Consider the following questions. Do you prefer to listen to class lectures rather than reading from a textbook? Does reading out loud help you to remember information better? Would you prefer to listen to a recording of your class lectures or a podcast rather than going over your class notes? Do you create songs to help remember information? Auditory learners often prefer to have material explained and are also effective at explaining concepts to others. They also enjoy giving presentations, prefer to read aloud, and notice sound effects easily. Reading writing. Could you be a reading writing learner? Do you find that reading your textbook is a great way to learn new information? Do you take a lot of notes during class and while reading your books? Do you enjoy making lists? reading definitions, and creating PowerPoint presentations? Do you prefer it when teachers make the use of overheads and handouts? Learners that prefer reading and writing work best when information is displayed through words or lists, handouts, and wordy presentations. They gravitate towards text-based input and output. Kinesthetic. Not sure if you're a kinesthetic learner? Answer these questions to find out. Do you enjoy performing tasks that involve directly manipulating objects and materials? Is it difficult for you to sit still for long periods of time? Are you good at applied activities such as painting, cooking, mechanics, sports, and wordworking? Do you have to actually practice doing something in order to learn it? Kinesthetic learners prefer to practice through demonstrations, videos, case studies, and application. They also enjoy competition and challenges, and they gain more from reading notes briefly. 
Multimodal. In reality, many of us are multimodal because we use more than one learning style on a day-to-day -day basis. So there are two types. Type one, these learners are contact specific. They choose a single mode to suit the occasion or situation. If they have to deal with legalities, they will apply their reading writing preference. If they are to watch the demonstration of a technique, they will be expressing their kinesthetic preference. Type two, they may be seen as procrastinators or slow deliverers, but some may merely be gathering all of the information before acting and their decision making and learning may be better because of that breadth of understanding. If someone is multimodal, it would be beneficial to them if they set aside more time to study and use most of the study strategies we will be discussing next. Study strategies. What works best for your learning style? Now we will discuss the various study strategies that will work best for the way you learn. Now that we have an in-depth understanding of the learning styles, it will be beneficial to identify at least two modes that you prefer over the others. Then you can apply the study strategies we will be discussing to your next assignment for classes, whether it be studying for a midterm, final, or writing a paper. What types of assignments do you have coming up that you can keep in mind during our discussion? Take a moment to jot that down. Visual learner input. For our discussion, input is describing how you take in information. When determining the best study strategies for yourself, keep in mind that there are ways you can modify how you take in the information. An example is here for visual learners. How you analyze information and the quality of the information you output, for example, performing well on an exam. Please review these diagrams. Another example is to replace words with symbols or initials in your notes. Also, many students prefer to use highlighting and underlining in different colors to make notes more visually appear appealing. If you are a visual learner, which of these strategies is most appealing to you? An example of output is performing well on a presentation or test. For a visual learner to perform well on an exam, a number of methods are preferred. If possible, they can write exam answers out, turn their symbols and pictures back into words, for example, on an essay exam. To quickly recall information, they can remember visuals drawn on notes and also use diagrams in their answers if possible. Oral learner input. Auditory learners can take information best when they are able to record lectures with the permission of the instructor. They also do well when they can make up interesting examples, stories, or jokes that relate to the material. Studying in a group with other students who also prefer to discuss the material can increase understanding. Also, when lectures cannot be recorded, recording written notes into audio format to listen to them may help. Oral learner output. In order to perform well, auditory learners need a quiet atmosphere so they can focus on listening to their inner thoughts and recording answers from memory. They also do well when trying to speak the answers in their heads. Auditory learners may need more time to study in order to commit information to memory. Reading writing learner input. Learners whom prefer to read and write learn best by taking detailed notes, repetition, rewriting the ideas into their own words, and translating diagrams into paragraphs. Do these methods help anyone during lectures or when trying to learn a new concept? When trying to perform well on a test or presentation, these learners prefer to practice with multiple choice questions, write answers out in paragraphs or lists, and organize ideas into hierarchies. If you are a reading writing learner, are there any strategies you can think of that we've not discussed here that might work for you? 
take a moment to write that down. Kinesthetic learner input. Kinesthetic learners are hands-on and they tend to try to use all senses when learning a new concept. They enjoy typing their notes, they use rhythm to memorize notes, and also enjoy participating in study groups. Kinesthetic learner output. In order to perform well academically, kinesthetic learners need to write out practice answers, role play the testing situation, and apply the questions and answers to actual experiences. Multimodal learner input and output. Multimodal preferences dominate the pre preferences for all populations and it is clearly the most used set of preferences when making decisions about learning. Usually one third of respondents are in the four part VARC set and another large group are in the groups who have two to three preferred modalities. When working alone, type one learners select strategies that work best for the subject matter. When working in groups, they tend to use the strategy that works best for the group. Type two learners tend to allocate more study time in order to experience the material in two, three, or all four of the learning styles. If you believe that you're multimodal, think about the type, type one or two that you would lean toward. Now, if you'd like to learn more and you want to take the VARC learning style questionnaire, you can visit the website listed here. If you have questions, please feel free to contact the Student Success Coach at the Office of Graduate Advising for the Heisinger College of Business, phone 954-262-5067. Thank you for listening.